Hello, my name is Min Young Chen, and I'm from Thai State in the Republic of Korea. Today, I'm going to present our paper titled My Last Representative Sampling to a Real World Hybrid Graph. Beyond the parallel interactions, group interactions exist in many complex systems. Such complex systems are more accurately represented as hypergraphs than as graphs. Hypergraphs consist of nodes and hyperedges, and each hyperedge is a subset of any number of nodes. Since analyze a large scale hypergraph is a time consuming and often practically impossible, sampling would be indispensable for various tasks. For example, if a small but representative sample of online group interactions can be used, the innovation of the information cascade can be run in a shorter time. Such a soft hypergraph can also be used to mitigate the difficulty in visualizing a large hypergraph or accelerate the training hypergraph neural networks. So, in this paper, We've introduced the representative hypergraph sampling problem. Revolving this problem, we aim to answer three interesting questions. First, what is the representative sample? How can we measure the quality of a sample hypergraph as a representative sample? To this end, we measure the difference between sampled and entire hypergraphs using 10 statistics for the structure of a hypergraph. What are the benefits and limitations of the simple and intuitive approaches for representative hypergraph sampling? With respect to this question, we try six intuitive sampling approaches and 11 real world hypergraphs and then analyze their characteristics. How can we find a representative of a hypergraph rapidly without extensively exploring the search space? Regarding this question, we propose MIDAS, which overcomes the limitations of the previous simple approaches and finds over the most representative samples. Our problem is formulated as follows. When a large hypergraph and the sampling portion are given, our objective is to find the sub hypergraph that preserves the structural features of the given hypergraph under the given sampling portion. We consider 10 statistics for the structural analysis of the hypergraphs. As shown below, these statistics include node level, hyper action level, as well as graph level statistics. We numerically measure the quality of a sub hypergraph in 10 aspects. Specifically, for probability density functions, we measure the distance for the comma growth similar to these statistics. For scholars, we measure the relative difference. However, since the scales of the distances are different from each other, it is difficult to directly compare the qualities of the sulfur hypergraphs while considering the properties of penalty. To alleviate this problem, we compute the rankings and just scores with respect to each property and average them. What we did can be explained more clearly in the given figures. The distance in size distribution is more than 10 times smaller than the difference in density. So, if we simply average them, the difference in that scheme mainly accounts for the average of these two values. Therefore, we rank the sub hypergraph that we wanted to compare with respect to each statistic and compare the average value of all statistics. Throughout the paper, we use 11 data sets from six different domains. This table summarizes which data set we used and what hyper edge and node represents in each data set. We categorize the six intuitive approaches into node selection methods and hyper edge selection methods. Node selection methods choose a subset of nodes and then return the induced sub hypergraph. 
On the other hand, hyperedge selection method choose the associative hyperedges and return them as self hypergraphs. For the load selection method, we try four different methods. First, we draw a load image from a random and we call this method RNS. As a characteristic of RNS, it preserves the relative spectral properties well. However, RNS usually samples too many small hyperedges. Due to the lack of large hyperedges, the local and global connectivity is weak. Next, we try drawing a node with probabilities proportional to node degrees. This approach is referred to as RDM. We apply random marker and forest fire simulations to hypergraphs to sample nodes, and they are referred to as the RW and FF respectively. We observe these three approaches that have common characteristics. Compared to RNS, they lead to a larger portion of a high degree nodes, resulting from the fact that high degree nodes strengthen connectivity. The samples tend to have a stronger connectivity. But in some data sets, such as the co-authorship data set, the solve hypergraphs sampled from these approaches have too many high degree nodes. And as a result, they have too strong connectivity compared to the original hypergraph. For the hyperedge selection, we first try easily drawing a target number of hyperedge uniformly and random. We refer to it as IHS. This approach preserves the hyperedge level statistics nearly perfectly, in addition to connected component sizes, related finger values, and global plus simple actions. But since RHS is equivalent to uniform hypergraph specification, the subgraphs from this approach suffer from weak connectivity. Next, we extend the totally induced edge sampling method to hypergraph and refer to it as a TIHS. TIHS well preserves the properties that are overlooked by RHS, such as load degrees, and the connectivity tends to be stronger in self hypergraphs sampled by TIHS than in those sampled by RHS. In some cases, however, it leads to too strong connectivity compared to original hypergraphs. Analyzing the simple approaches motivates us to come up with our method model. The first finding is that RHS performs best, but if the samples suffer from weak connectivity, including lack of high degree nodes. The second finding is that degree preservation is strongly correlated with the ability to preserve other properties and those the overall performance. The last figure shows that peers correlation coefficients between degree and other properties are relatively high. The right figure shows that the average degree has a strong correlation with overall needs and density. Thus, we aim to overcome the lack of high degree nodes of RHS while maintaining its strength. We also focus on better preserving nodes degrees while expecting that this also helps to preserve other properties. Towards this goal, we first present our preliminary sampling method minus the basic. To mm -hmm. increase the fraction of high degree nodes, this method prioritizes the hyperedges composed only of high degree nodes. For example, when there are two hyperedges, E1 and E2, we aim to prioritize the hyperedge E2 because it consists mainly of nodes with a higher degree. And specifically, minus the basic samples a target number of hyperedges with probability proportional to the minimum degree of nodes in each hyperedge to the power of the alpha. For example, let's take a look at a hyperedge 
which consists of the rules of a given degree. Since the minimum degree of the rules in this hyper edge is two, in this case, we draw it with probability proportional to two to the alpha. In minus basic, we analyze how alpha affects the samples of hypergraphs in practice. First, we observe that the degree distributions in samples tend to be more biased towards the high degree nodes as alpha increases. This shows a promising characteristic of alpha, which can be exploited to control the bias in degree distribution. Second, we observe that larger alpha values are required to preserve the distributions as degree distributions in original hypergraphs are more skewed. And lastly, we observe that larger alpha values are required to preserve the degree distributions as we sample pure hyper edges. These two observations give a direction to how we can automatically check alpha, which leads to the full fledged version of MIDA. Well, let me describe MIDA, the full fledged version of our sampling method that automatically checks alpha. Based on the strong correlations found in observation two and three, the best performing alpha can be expected from the skewness of the degree distribution in the input hypergraph and the sampling portion. So we put a linear legalizer M to the best performing alpha values on the clustered data set under five different sampling portions. Additionally, the alpha value obtained by the linear regressor model M is a further tuned using hill climbing. The objective of the hill climbing search is to minimize the distance between the input hypergraph and sub hypergraph sampled by MIDA spacing with respect to the degree distribution. Through experimental evaluation, we aim to demonstrate the three advantages of MIDA. Regarding quality, MIDAS accurately preserves the 10 structural properties of the real world hypergraphs. For robustness, it performs well regardless of the sampling portions. Finally, regarding speed, it runs fast compared to the competitors. We did experiments in 11 real world data sets on the five different sampling portions. And we compared it with 12 competitors, including simple intuitive methods and six versions of metropolis graph assembly, which directly optimized the difference between the sampled and the original hypergraphs. MIDAS provides overall the most representative samples in terms of both the average rankings and average jet scores. MIDAS is followed by different versions of metropolis graph sampling, which are significantly slower than MIDAS. Especially, MIDAS best preserves node degrees, density, openness, and diameter. We call that RHS, which MIDAS is based on, was not good at preserving <coughs> these properties. MIDAS consistently performs best regardless of the sampling portions with few exceptions. Here we compare uh, these statistics in degree distribution, average jet scores, and average rankings. MIDAS is the testiest example of the simplest methods. Notably, it is 2.7 times faster than MIDAS based with free research and orders of magnitude faster than most versions of metropolis graph sampling. In this paper, we propose MIDAS, a representative of hypergraph sampling method. Our contributions can be summarized as follows. First, we formulated the problem of representative sampling from hypergraphs for the first time to the best of our knowledge. Our formulation is based on 10 pervasive structural properties. Second, we observed the characteristics of six intuitive sampling approaches. Lastly, 
Guided by these characteristics, we designed the MIDA, which is passed while sampling over the best sub-hyper graphs. The code and data sets used in the paper are publicly available at the given link. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and it would be a pleasure to ask me any questions about our paper. Thank you. So any questions in the chat? Um, I, I don't see any questions in the in the Zoom, but um, did anyone post anything in the in the HOVA? Uh, I don't see any question from the HOVA. Okay. So Min, uh, Min Young, I had one question that in the hyper graphs, in the hyper ages, examples you're showing before, each of them had say five nodes in there. And each of the nodes in the original graph can have different degrees, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. So, so the degree distributions we are showing, like, uh, are are you considering every hyper edge, and then computing some sort of an average degree for all the nodes that are present in the hyper edge? Oh, or when you talk about a degree distribution, are you talking about basic the the traditional degree distribution in the whole graph uh -huh. oh yes i or oh, i or oh, we use the degree distribution that uh that is used in traditional way okay um, so you're looking at the reconstruction error essentially between the original graph and the sample one oh Yes, that's right. Yes. 